Hi, today we are going to do a video where I paint this like corset top that I'm wearing from Forever 21. I obviously look like I already did it because I did and I forgot to film an intro video. <laughs> so you're getting my final look in the beginning and then we're gonna watch how I got here, I guess. But um, I don't wanna reveal too much <laughs> as I said, but I painted this panel here and then I put embroidery here. So we're going to do that today. I don't normally buy fast fashion stuff. A lot of my clothes are, I would say like 95% of my clothes are like thrifted or are vintage. But I was at the mall and I saw this like bustier, whatever this top would be considered at Forever 21. And it was like, just, it just looked like the perfect blank canvas. And I figured because it's like modern and whatever, I can paint on it and like make mistakes if I want and I won't be bummed about ruining like a vintage piece or something. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna, show you how I created this. Um, you'll see a better example at the end of the video because I got to keep some mystery. I got to keep some, you know, some some suspense and some charm and some coy whatever so that you can watch it so that I can, you know, actually make a video on this and then get paid by YouTube because I decided to be a uh, content creator because I got let go of my studio job way back in 2020 or no maybe it was 2021 like a bunch of us did because the animation industry is a fickle mistress and I got really tired <laughs> of constantly wondering when my next job was going to come or if I was going to keep my job because studios change their mind all the time especially if you look at people like Warner Brothers and all of the other people right now who are just firing everybody in animation and now all of my other animation friends are all looking for work and they're all sad and depressed. So I thought maybe doing content creation would be a little more stable, but now I have to rely on the algorithm and constantly making content in order to make money, to keep myself alive and to feed myself and I'm not complaining, I'm just stating the facts. Yeah. All right, anyway, let's get into it. Do you wanna go for a car ride? Do you wanna go for a car ride? <laughs> Do you wanna go for a car ride? Kaka, you wanna go for a car ride? Welcome, you've got yeah, mail. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I'm at Joanne's. Someone's excited. <laughs> and I don't know if I want to go like kitschy or classy. I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can see anything that speaks to me. Maybe I can find like tapestry fabric or something cool. I don't know. We're just going to go and see. I think I would definitely want to get some ribbons to put like right here to make it look more like a stay or something. And I doubt that they'll have this, but maybe they'll have like uh, like the metal springs for corsets, but like thin ones, like metal, little metal strips instead of the plastic ones that are in there. Cause then I can replace that with those because I hate plastic boning. Metal boning is so much better. I know I can order them online, but I impulsively decided to do it for this video like last night. So I didn't have a chance to order anything. Also ignore my hair. I just took a shower. So it looks like a mess. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Let's go inside. Okay. But what if, what if cows, what if cows are all, that could be really cute. Get off of my thing. I'm trying to film something. Get, get, sit down. That's pretty. I like it. I'm gonna take it.
Okay, so we got the corset, we got lace, we got trim, more trim, other trim, because I couldn't decide, uh, appliques, more appliques, little appliques. No. No. Stay. And a bunch of acrylic paint. Since I had no idea exactly what I wanted to do, I decided to draw it first. So I drew basically what I felt like was the bustier corset top, whatever. And I knew I wanted to do something with unicorns, so I just started kind of futzing around and sketched out these kind of cute little unicorns that are inspired by vintage animal designs. So I kind of repositioned and drew them around and tried to figure out what colors and poses and stuff I wanted to do, plus any sort of patterning. I knew I wanted to do vines and floral stuff because I had the embroidered flowers as well, so I wanted to kind of follow that design into the painted part, but I wasn't really sure on what color to make the backdrop. I was planning on painting the entire back panel blue, but since I was still shaky on that, I decided to just go in and start sketching and painting the little unicorns first. I'm using a special pencil I got at Joann's that comes off with water and it's for making marks on fabric and stuff like that. It is kind of hard to see but it was also kind of hard for me to see as well so I tried to edit it as best as I could so you could see what I was drawing but it is kind of a very very light pencil. So at this point, my camera decided not to film painting this base white, which great, thank you. But that's okay because you'll see how I did it on the other unicorn. But I started just laying down the base color, which is white, and I'm just using a mix of regular acrylic paint that you can buy at like Joann's or whatever. I think this one is called Top Notch and fabric medium. That's it, I just put a bunch of fabric medium in a little section on my palette and every time I went to add a color, I just mixed a little bit of the fabric medium into it. Here I am working on the other unicorn. I really just laid down white over the sketch, so you really weren't missing much. <laughs> but I started outlining it in this kind of soft brown purpley color, just so that you could see it better and that I could see it better. <laughs> and then I started putting down pastel blues and purples and pinks for my shading. I didn't want it to be very intense, so I, I wanted it to be very, very soft. So I worked really light and then slowly built up darker shadows as I went, just putting the darkest spots in little crevices and stuff like that.
I hope you enjoyed that relaxing painting content. And now we can get back to my voice. <laughs> At this point, I need to iron on the appliques. I followed the directions to put just like a scrap piece of fabric over and iron it. This took forever. I don't know, these just didn't really wanna stick. I don't know if maybe I didn't have it hot enough, but I had to do this like 50 billion times. <laughs> it got kind of annoying, but maybe next time I'll have to do it on a hotter setting, but I could have sworn I had it on the hottest setting that I could get it. I guess because they were so thin, it just took a while for them to actually stick to the fabric. And then I had all of this trim that I was gonna put on. I couldn't decide what I liked, and I felt like all of the trim that I picked ended up making it too busy and too disjointed. So while I originally had this sparkly one as like my main pick, I opted not to do any of it as well as the lace. I was gonna do lace on it and I decided not to because I felt like it was just too much and I kind of liked the simplicity of it. Anyway, with all of that said, she's complete. And let's check out the reveal. And that's a wrap. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's super cute and I feel like I can put it over a lot of stuff. I have it over this selkie dress that I have because I feel like it was a perfect fit. <laughs> but I kind of want to make more of these. Forever 21 had a black one as well and I kind of can't stop thinking about that cow print. And the kitschy part of me really wants to make like a super kitschy cow themed one which is like completely flipped from this elegant nice cute one <laughs> but yeah what do you think do you like it are you gonna try to do something like this let me know down below and that's about it also most of these shots are with diglet because none of the other dogs really wanted to hang out <laughs> they just like to wander around the backyard <laughs> all right that's it goodbye